in our actions and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the efforts of those who have put the efforts and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the donations of those who have donation and do all the support who brothers and sisters have been giving may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them the best reward in this dunya and akhirah uh, and uh, inshallah uh, today's uh, presentation will give you uh, all the updates so far what is happening in the masjid inshallah and when we are starting the new mosque project uh, so I recommend all the brothers to have patience and uh, listen to the brothers so they will be a, uh, the manager, uh, project manager for the new mosque project. Brother Maja will be here and inshallah we have our architect with us and uh, uh, brother Shoaib who is managing uh, the fundraising uh, programs in the masjid. So they all will be speaking for a little while. So this will last between 20 minutes to 25 minutes so it is not too long. And uh, I recommend all the brothers to listen first inshallah you might have a lot of questions. So the questions will be answers, uh, answered inshallah, but uh, uh, at the end of the presentation inshallah. So at the end of the presentation, if there is a space, we might be staying here or we might go outside. So you can speak whoever you want to speak. If you want to speak to the about the finance, so Brother Shaib is there. If you want to speak about some design issues so, and the planning, so uh, our architect Henry is there. And uh, also overall general program, you, you can speak to me or Brother Maja as well inshallah. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, without uh, making any delays, so I'll pass this to Brother Maji, inshallah. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum. Many of you will be uh, curious, uh, may not be aware of, uh, I'm really curious to know what's happening, what's happened so far, and uh, why, the question is why we haven't started yet. Um, a lot of people keep asking that, uh, but for some reason no one comes to me, everyone comes to either uh, someone who's not directly involved. Um, but I thought we'd take this opportunity as a platform and tell you what's happening so far and what our plans are. Um, but during our last uh, presentation back in Ramadan, um, we made it clear that we were in, intending to start uh, last year. So back in, that was uh, around about uh, August, uh, September time. And uh, the reason why we couldn't start is uh, simple. At that time, we went uh, across for initial uh, invitation to the builders and the contractors. And we only got two responses back. Now, based on the scale of the project, uh, we thought it's not fair on us and fair on the competi competition uh, to actually have only two contractors uh, bidding for the job. So we went out further uh, wide and, and tried to get more people involved in. Now, we got response back from five of the people, five of the contractors. And uh, by the time we got response back, it was already <coughs> November. Uh, the timeline was already in, we, we were into November. Now that was the initial response only. In the meantime, what we also did was, we, uh, there, there are two paths over here. One is the actual, uh, when do we start path, the other path is about the fund. Okay. So, we, you've got to consider and weigh both the paths and see how, how we proceed from here. Back in Ramadan at that time we said, for the phase one, the cost was 1.47 million. Now, the, there is a board over there with all the current financial uh, of how much we have, how much we need and so on. Um, so back in Ramadan, I said we need 1.47 to start because it is purely not a, a traditional uh, uh, construction method. Henry, our architect, will explain it to you. Um, it is the basement and the basement is the most important, the most expensive bit uh, of uh, kit on this uh, phase. So we wanted the complete money to start because you once you start digging you don't want to stop halfway through um, so what we at that uh, we waited for the time until November to see how much money we have and we only raised about uh, about seven hundred thousand pounds uh, brother Shea will explain you how much more uh, how much we've raised and, and a bit more detail into finance financial aspects of it in the meantime from a construction point we were still going ahead and um, as you can see over here we took the opportunity to actually uh, 
look into the design and, uh, and, and see what we can improve, what cost saving, uh, what and how we could save costs. And alhamdulillah, we, ha we had a brother, uh, uh, his experience was uh, immense and uh, from an architectural background and his uh, background was, uh, he works in a lot of uh, uh, multi-million dollar projects. He came on board and his uh, feedback was uh, very valuable. Uh, we thank him for that. And he gave us some really nice ideas on how to cut costs and how to proceed uh, with, with the phase. So in the meantime, while we were raising funds, we were also doing this exercise of actually how to improve the design and how to, uh, to better um, uh, uh, increase uh, the value of, of the efficiency, uh, the construction. So we had to, uh, when, we when I gave a presentation back in uh, Ramadan, we said this is the money we need and this is what we need to build. But now when we reviewed, we had to see what we can build with the money we have. And uh, this was in November. So um, we went through the design process and Henry will explain to you a bit more about the, the design and what we did, how we reviewed and what changes are there. And, and Throughout the slides, inshallah, we'll tell you when we're going to start. Uh, we have a timeline, um, but I'll let Henry speak for now. And we'll, I'll continue later. Henry? No, uh, I oh, think sorry. It's, uh, sure. it's a fund. Inna alhamdulillah, bismillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Um, okay, brother. Uh, Jazakallah khair, brother, for staying and uh, uh, joining the uh, presentation. Uh, firstly, I want to thank uh, all the brothers and sisters who involved with the masjid from the day one and who have donated for the sake of Allah and also the brothers uh, even who have not donated but you know helped the masjid uh, become a volunteer or any other way the brothers whoever like helped the masjid for sake of Allah we have to give the special thanks from the masjid so brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah um, Obviously, as you know, like uh, in Ramadan, uh, last Ramadan, uh, we, we had in our account about 450,830 pounds. And uh, for the phase one, uh, obviously, you know, we needed one point, uh, over 1.45 million. Uh, so in last Ramadan, from the donation and the court Hasana pledges, we received 450,000, uh, 53,000 plus from the three brothers, 500,000 as we remembered like uh, in Ramadan. So even though brothers uh, promised that money, Alhamdulillah lots of brothers paid their pledges and lots of brothers hasn't paid their pledges yet. So in Ramadan, as you remembered, uh, lots of brothers paid the Qad Hassan as well. So all together in Ramadan, the donation we received 104,532 pounds and also the card hasana 148,000 pounds and also from the three brothers uh, the brothers who promised to pay 500,000 pound inshallah we haven't received them yet but the money is clearing soon because of the few causes like uh, say some uh, one brothers he's clearing the money from abroad another brothers sale is agreed for his house so as soon as the money is clear inshallah we receive the money so anyway inshallah by the time we start the work money is coming in the masjid inshallah so at the moment as you know that uh, finance wise we need 1.47 million and uh, we got about half of the money about half of the money so inshallah if we receive that 500,000 pound and about just over 200,000 pound cash pledges to come in the masjid so inshallah if all the brothers who have intended to uh, help this uh, project if you haven't paid yet requesting brother please pay as soon as possible every single penny is counts this in this time it's very very important time so inshallah uh, we'll give you an update inshallah by time by time and also you can see the masjid wall uh, we'll, we'll update uh, inshallah so you can uh, check there as well so Jazakumullah Khairan and uh, I'll pass the mics to Brother Maja inshallah. Thank you very much. And if you have any question, anything, obviously I'm here so you can uh, ask me inshallah. Jazakumullah Khairan. Hi, Salaamu Alaikum. Taller, yeah. A lot taller. <laughs> 
Um, I'm Henry. Uh, I'm the architect. Some of you will have seen me before. I recognise a few of you. Um, I'm just, I've got four slides here, really, just to show um, what we've changed to make it so that it fits inside the budget that we've got right now. This is the revised phase one. And what this shows is the uh, hole in the ground, which will happen outside. It also has all the drainage underneath it. Not very exciting, not interesting, but absolutely essential. It's also all the foundations for the building. And it connects to the uh, public services, um, which again are things that aren't interesting, aren't good fun, but um, are essential for this building. So this is what's in the current phase one. This would be phase two, which as I understand it, if you get all of the money that you're hoping for, and a little bit more, you can achieve really the outline of the whole of the building. And this would be the, the full three-dimensional um, part of the building, so this is three stories up to here. And, um, there is a there is a pointer in it. The There's a pointer, is it? Okay. The middle one. There you go, okay. <laughs> um, so th this would be up to three stories and you would see this full size of this building which is going to be significant on this site. Majo, shall I just go straight on? Because you've got the next slide. Okay. So Majo mentioned that there was um, some feedback from uh, some of your command congregation I also see here, and what we've done is we've tried to include as much of that as fits with the, with the uh, current design. We had a long process, mostly with the design team and mostly also with your own um, group, to try and develop uh, the ideas onto what was the scheme um, that was standing. The key things that we've done are here, there's a new um, access down into the basement. This will make the atrium much, much more impressive than it was. It's used some space in the basement, and so the multi-purpose hall that's on this side has, has got a bit smaller. But the benefit is that there's now a multi-purpose hall over here. So you have two multi-purpose halls in the basement, which gives you a lot more flexibility, as well as having a much larger and more impressive atrium. So this entrance from the south side, as you come up the bank, and coming this way, you'll see you'll come into a really impressive space. The other changes that um, we've, we've included, as you can see on this slide, there are some roof lights which bring light down the side of the prayer hall. This is on the outside, but it will continue the idea that the prayer hall is the light inserted into the building. Um, we've also uh, increased the floor, or the, the usable space, on the uh, roof. The advantage, or the, the, the sort of the trick of that, is that it used to be used by a lot of um, building services, pipes, tubes, ventilation. And uh, through part of this process that we've gone through, we've removed that from the sum of the roof, and there's an extra 250 square meters up on the roof, which is a lot to achieve out of nothing. So not only has it reduced the cost of the building services, as much I was saying, but it also gives potential space in the future to use some of that roof space. Um, yeah. The other changes that those things do is then you have to reassess um, all your fire strategies, your building control, and those sort of elements which have also happened. What that results in is in a new schedule uh, which puts us just before here. And the great news is that we go to tender here, and uh, by the end of uh, February, the contractors will have the tender. Tender is uh, when you go out and get the prices. So that's this month, that's in three weeks, uh, which is a positive thing to say after I've had to stand up sometimes before and we're saying we're trying, we're trying, well, that's it. Provided there's money and we get the right process, um, we'll get, we should get those back at the end of March. Decision by you guys, the whole community, and by the, by the, the client team in the middle of April, and that puts us a start on site at the beginning, second week of May. So that's all for me, and I think there's going to be some questions later, and I'll be welcome to, uh, to take any of those. Okay, um, a few slides back. Um, well, we'd like to thank uh, the brother who was involved. Um, he is sitting here, but I don't know if uh, we didn't ask him for the permission to be mentioned uh, to talk about his name, but um, uh, he gave us a really good uh, feedback. Um, one thing is, as part of the, of the, part of, part of the design review, uh, we looked into the, the electrical, the mechanical, the ventilation side, the thermal efficiency of the building. And uh, if you know the, 
the energy efficiency as it stands with the current design is, is 28 uh, points, um, which is, if you buy a washing machine, for instance, you get energy rating scale, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. And we are currently just below A. Um, so it, it is a bit quite, uh, it is a quite efficient building, and um, we are working on if, to see if we can improve that further to bring it into uh, A. Uh, the other thing is, um, looking at the schedule, we have, um, all these dates to meet and um, as you can see as part of being the client team we need a lot of support a lot of help from you not financially only but also we're looking for some uh, roles to be filled up now uh, roles such as project management um, uh, we need someone to actually manage the project when, when it, before at least from starting from now uh, so they can control and, and manage the way uh, phase one goes through we need someone with uh, a health and safety uh, background, health and safety executive really, who can assist us and, and, uh, uh, and guide us on how we uh, progress on this. And a couple of other roles, uh, such as uh, cost uh, a planner, and also, um, there's not, nothing, I just can't remember on that. But I think there are about four positions that we need, and we need it quite urgently. But if you know of anyone who, who can, um, uh, filling those roles, please let us know. I was going to put in a vacancy uh, notice, uh, vacancy at the notice board, but inshallah I'll, I'll try and do that over the week. Um, but if you know someone uh, who can help us out, and it's got to be a full time job, <coughs> uh, we really cannot use any part time roles. Uh, but come and speak to us, and inshallah we'll find out more about Okay, so Jazakumullah uh, khair for listening, inshallah. So the brothers will be here if anybody have a uh, question. So we'll take the questions as well. And as you have been uh, supporting uh, the project, uh, inshallah your support will be continue with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we appreciate that and inshallah as soon as the phase one will start, so before it finish, we hope to start the phase two. Because uh, the phase one, we try to bring in the budget which we have. So inshallah those promises, if they come, by the time we finish the phase two, so two months before we finish the phase two, so in, sorry, phase one, so we'll start the phase two inshallah immediately. So the work, if work will start, inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, you'll see uh, a very huge uh, cons uh, structure there inshallah. So we'll start with phase one and two, we'll combine both of them inshallah. So thank you very much for listening. So if you have the questions, so we are here, so you can ask the questions.